Hey guys, this is episode two of my new series to teach you guys the basics of reading music theory. So in our last episode, we talked about our pizza and slicing our pizza up into half pizzas, quarter pizzas, and leaving it as a whole pizza. We also talked about how all of that relates to our quarter notes, half notes, and whole notes. And at the end of our last episode, I left you with a challenge to try to figure out how we can split our whole pizza into three slices using only the slices we've already learned. Well, did you find an answer? Well, let's try to figure it out together. So here's our whole pizza, and here are the different slices we've already learned, the quarter slice and half slice. So our goal is to find a way to break up this whole pizza into three pieces. So let's start by trying quarter notes. Let's take three quarter slices, and no, that doesn't quite turn into a whole pizza. What about three halves of a pizza? And nope, 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 that is not a whole pizza. That is more than a whole pizza. In fact, that's actually one and a half pizzas. So what we have to do is find the combination of quarter slices and half slices to get to our answer. Can you figure it out? Well, if you said one half slice of pizza plus two quarters of a pizza, you would be correct. And the same would apply for our notes that we've learned. So our whole note can be broken up into a single half note and two quarter notes. But now let's think about why that's the case. So remember last episode we were talking about beats and how each of these different notes can describe how long we hold our sounds for. Now we have to think about the amount of beats each of these notes are worth. So we already know that a whole pizza can break up into four quarters. So we are going to say that a whole pizza equals four and therefore our whole note also equals four. And if we break up our whole pizza or our whole note into quarter slices or quarter notes, then each one of these these quarter slices and quarter notes are going to equal one. But when we put two of our quarters together, either our quarter notes or quarter pizza slices, can you guess what our half pizza or half note would be worth? Well, if you said two, you would be correct. So now you might be thinking two what or four what or one what? Well, these amounts or these numbers are the numbers of beats that each one of these notes are going to be held for. So that means when we're playing a whole note, we would hold this note for four beats. And when we're playing a half note, we would hold that note for two beats. And when we're playing a quarter note, we would hold that note for only one beat. So that means out of these three notes, the whole note will be the longest note because it's held for four beats. And the quarter note will be the quickest note because it's only held for one beat. Now let's do a little bit of music math to practice your knowledge. Here's your first question. What does a quarter note plus a quarter note plus another quarter note equal? Do you have the answer? Well, to get to that answer, we have to remember what the quarter note is worth and remember that each quarter note is worth one beat. So that means it would be basically one plus one plus one. One beat plus one beat plus one beat, which would equal three beats. So if you also got an answer of three beats, you're on the right track. So let's do another example. What if we did a whole note and subtracted a quarter note and another quarter note? Well, you'd have to remember that the whole note is worth four beats and the quarter notes are worth one beat each. So you basically have a simple math equation where it becomes four minus one minus one. And your final answer would be two beats. Okay, now I'm gonna leave you with another three questions to figure out on your own. And you'll have to watch my next episode to get the answers. Thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do that now don't forget to like this video and comment below if you have any problems or questions and I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible. See you guys in episode three.